On February 24, 2022, the Ukrainian capital woke up at 4 a.m. to the sound of explosions and approaching Russian military equipment. The battle for Kyiv was about to begin. International military experts predicted that the Ukrainian capital would fall to Russian forces within 72 hours, considering Russia's advantage with military personnel and equipment. One year later, the city of Kyiv is still standing, despite hundreds of massive shellings. The scars are visible around the city and have become a part of everyday life for residents. Parts of the city suffered the worst of Russian attacks on Kyiv. Some are still in ruins, while others are getting a new start. Katerina Ovchinnikova lives in Kyiv. She reflects on how the perception of war has changed over the last year. A year ago, we were very worried about the war. In our understanding, everything fell suddenly. We plunged into World War II like in the movies. There was nothing, and the sirens were wailing. Now we understand that even if there is shelling, if something happens, we do not panic. Ovchinnikova spoke to us in the underground parking garage of her apartment building. It's now a shelter for her and other residents. We defined it, at least for ourselves, as a bomb shelter. There are two exits to two different streets, and the parking is not only under the building, but also underground, which is very important. The city of Kyiv today is full of fortifications and people wearing military uniforms. But along with the persistent fear and uncertainty, residents are still filled with hope that the war will end and Ukraine will again be free. Anna Chernikova for VOA News, Kyiv.